My name is Mayo Moran. I'm the Provost and Vice Chancellor of Trinity College, and I've been in this role for three years. My name is John Monahan, and I'm the Warden of Hart House, and I've been in this role for going on two years. So fortunate to have these wonderful historic buildings that have a lot of charm, a lot of character. I think people come to Trinity because they love the buildings. At the same time, if you think of things like accessibility being a very basic one, the buildings are very, very challenging. These are fantastic places. We don't want to take away their beautiful character at the same time that we make them more welcoming. This is a residential college as well as an educational college and we live in a city where students are, find it very, very difficult to find places to live and so we're also looking to how can we create more spaces for students to really experience the collegiate way of life instead of spending all their time on the GO trains. My first sense of Trinity was a sense of place. The incredible buildings, the spires, what was in those spires, what was behind those gates. And I think that kind of magical enclosed space that's part of the university but looks kind of closed off, it was quite mysterious and intriguing and that was my first impression of Trinity. I remember wondering what on earth it was when I came and I was studying at the law school and certainly students tell me when I say why did you come to Trinity about how or more say, I walked into the quad and I fell in love. Well, one I would mention that someone showed me, there are many places I love, including my backyard as Provost is really <laughs> wonderful and the whole Provost Lodge is wonderful. But there's a beautiful little stained glass window over the east door to the chapel uh, that someone showed me one day and told me the whole history of it. So that's sort of one of the kind of hidden gems that I think about when I think about Trinity College. I remember traveling around southern and southwestern Ontario and looking at the universities that I was considering and I, and I really did make my short list on the basis of architecture. And uh, I actually had a, a very generous scholarship offer, but I said, no, I've got to I've got to weigh Trinity more heavily because it really is a place where I uh, I, I had that sense of grandeur uh, and connection to the past. Also, my father happened to be a graduate of Trinity College Dublin, and then at the end of the day, it was the fact that Trinity was the home to the International Relations Program, which I knew from you know from the time I was 16 or 17 was the direction I wanted to pursue. So, if I was going to come to the University of Toronto, it it should be this place.